Welcome to Capricorn. We're going to look at what it is that you need guidance with um, using the Grace Cards, Nature's Whispers, and Osho Zen Tarot. So Capricorn, if um, these messages don't resonate with you, check out your other placements of your birth chart, and whenever you see this video is when it is right for you. Okay, so let's have a little look, see, shall we? Three cards for Capricorn, please. Three cards for Capricorn. It's finding the right cards for you. One more card for Capricorn. Hmm. Capricorn. One more card. <laughs> struggling to get the last one out there it is let me pick it up okay so here we go the first card out here is receive it says when we open ourselves up to others we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe love it Next card here is love. Receive love. Share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. It is, right? That's that. We, we are love. Oh, that's so beautiful. Anyway, quiet. Turn off the noise. Silence nourishes the body, mind, and and spirit yeah oh this is awesome Sag uh, sorry just went to call you Sagittarius then Capricorn don't worry your energy is infused in the cards okay so Capricorn two cards for what's this one receive Capricorn two cards for receive the Capricorn please when we open ourselves up to others we receive Sorry, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe. Okay, so those two cards here. I've already got one, so I need just one more. The Capricorn, please. Yeah, there it is. Okay, great. We have empowerment. Yep, this is going to, you know empower you i just wonder if some of you may be a little bit like holding back from opening up maybe to do with past hurts potentially but um you know i feel as though the storm has passed and and even if you still feel like you're in the middle of the storm capricorn to look to brighter days to know that you're going towards that, okay? Um, because the storm cannot last forever. You know, the sun always comes out again. So try and remember that, all right? If you're in the middle of the storm, this could be about you opening up to others as to what is going on for you right now, okay? So that you can receive the support that you need right now. Okay, so two cards for empowerment for Capricorn. And, um, you know, it really is about empowering yourself, okay? In times of um, trouble, stand in that power of who you truly are, right? Very important. Okay, so postponement. Postponement of... I just wonder if there's been some hold back. But what I want to say about this is taking the time to to take the rest you need especially with the quiet card here i think it's important for you to allow yourself um a moment a moment or 10 um to recover from the storm okay when you're out of the storm you need to recover in order to proceed forward okay and and it really is about being honest with those around you that you know you need this time i need this time for me so that i can come back more empowered more 
standing in my own, you know? Um, and if there are people around you who don't understand that, that's on them, okay? If you're open and honest um, and with your communication to clearly communicate what it is that you need and people aren't willing to support that, then I would question exactly what their intentions are, okay? Letting go. Letting go of all the things that... Um, do not serve you, okay, and taking the time to contemplate on those, this time that you need to rest, this, um, this is a perfect time to work out what it is that you need to let go and walk away from, and potentially even the people, maybe, that you need to let go of, okay, so we also have pause, yeah, definitely, this is absolutely crucial that you take this time okay so two cards for pause here for Capricorn please tell me more about this pause interesting it's come up since we've already discussed it well I feel like I want one more card is there one more card yeah okay mm, these are great cards Great cards. This this pause is going to help you. Um, I feel see it says innocence, but it's it's about more than that. Maybe the innocence within you, the innocence of those around you. This could be to do with younger children potentially and how things are impacting them for some of you. OK, um, but I feel like the pause will let you see what is around you and see that. Um, put it this way, the master is, you know, like. Absolutely taken with this grasshopper, right? If the master was busy doing everything needed to do, go to work, you know, go and not take the rest that with the time that he's taken, he wouldn't have even noticed the grasshopper. You know, he's he's not sitting there thinking he knows more than the grasshopper. He knows that the grasshopper is there to teach him whatever. You know, he's entertained by the grasshopper here. You know, and maybe the grasshopper is showing him how to be his authentic self. You know, that the grasshopper is not here apologising for who it is, right? And, um, yeah, this is it, you know, the, he, he, he is sitting here opening up himself up to the abundance of the universe and we also have abundance here, okay, so this pause will help you to open up here, okay? Because there's things that need to be shared, all right? I feel like there's stuff inside of you, Capricorn, that you need to share, okay? And whether this is about the storm and you need to share your emotions or whatever, or this could be gifts within yourself that whatever you've been through and um, taking the rest that you require is going to allow um, this opening up in order for these gifts to come through so that you can share them. Okay, you can share what you've learned and you can help other people too. All right? Love. Okay. Some of you could have been burned in love. Two cards for love for Capricorn, please. Share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. Yeah, you could be getting the feels as well. But yeah, it's kind of like there's this feeling of wanting to protect your heart. So, okay, so two cards for love for Capricorn, please. Capricorn, two cards for love. Holding back. Two cards. Okay, so we've got celebrate differences here and we've got, um, sorry, celebrate differences here and catch your breath here. Okay, so yeah, again, this is 
it's sort of like I feel like this if this hasn't come in it's something that may very well sweep you off your feet and it's kind of like after the storm getting washed up onto land and clinging onto the tree going is it finished yet but there's this transformation here as well a transformation of, of I feel like your heart okay um and yeah there's there's definitely fear there though there's this feeling of wanting to protect yourself um and I feel as though it's a matter of you trusting which could be quite difficult but two cards for catch your breath for Capricorn please Two cards for Catch Your Breath for Capricorn. One more. Yep, we've got the master here. This is you understanding no matter what has happened to you, you are the master of your own life. This is you mastering you. This is you tapping into the master of who you are, right? This is what is there to share with the world, okay? When we, when we close ourselves off, right, to um, receiving the abundance of the universe, okay, when we don't open ourselves up, we close the truth, the master of, you know, of who we are. We close that down. Okay, and, and this is an insult to our soul. Because our soul is here to take the, the human journey. And so this is something that you need to tap into here, Capricorn. So taking this time, catching your breath, in order to allow this to come out. Okay, oh. And we have harmony. Wow. Wow. This is powerful. Absolutely powerful. This is, you couldn't get, <laughs> I don't think you can get really any better than this. <laughs> um, because this is absolutely, see the heart here glowing, right? Working in conjunction with the mind. The mind isn't here overpowering the heart, telling it all the bad things that have happened. The mind is here working with the heart to bring through the harmony because the master, the master knows what that's about and knows that that needs to be shared with the world, right? Okay, so celebrate differences here. And, you know, this is about working with other people, working together to understand that, yes, there are differences and that's okay. It's You can still gel together. Look at the heart here on the water. It's working together, right? With the water, the heart is still a light. The heart is still has it still has passion. It's just the the rock that's been put around the heart in order to protect it. But the rock is cracking. It's getting cracked. But the fire is not going out. This is the thing. The fire and the passion is still there. Okay, so two cards for celebrate differences, please. For Capricorn, two cards, one more please for Celebrate Differences for Capricorn. Oh dang, that's way over there. Hang on a minute. Okay, so we've got jump out over the yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Mind and suppression. Yeah. Um this here is with the celebrate differences, look at the difference actually between the two here. Okay, there's there's it's really interesting because throughout this reading, there's this um, this kind of energy or that kind of energy, right? Because even in empowerment, you've got the storm over here and this gorgeous life over here, right? So it's kind of like splitting these two worlds in a sense, and um, <clears throat> and I just feel like. This is, you know, your mind actually suppressing this. Okay, so be very aware of this, because like I was talking about before, not allowing the mind to overpower the heart here. Okay, it's very important to allow your heart to take the lead. Very important, okay? Because remember, share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. Okay, so... Turn off the noise. Turn off the noise of your mind, right? This is what is creating the issues. Okay, because look, the storm has happened, all right? And um, it's the mind now that keeps us in the storm. So two cards for quiet, please. 
the Capricorn. Two cards for quiet, the Capricorn. One. Oh, dang. Almost got it. Hang on. Okay, so first card here, we have fresh approach. Yep, taking a fresh approach here. Um, and I love this here because there's a rainbow, right? Shows that the storm is clearing and the rainbow has come out. Okay, she's still got her hands up here on her heart, but the rock has gone. The rock is gone. She's just still like taking a minute to be like, oh, just, yeah, can't, let me catch my breath here, you know? And so, yeah, this is cool though. I think this is promising, yeah? Um, yeah, it really is. She's taking the time to go into the quiet. Okay, she's taking the time to do that because remember, silence nourishes the body, mind and spirit. Okay, the spirit is in here. This is where the spirit resides. And it nourishes that so it quietens everything. Okay, so let's look further into this fresh approach here for you. Capricorn, two cards for fresh approach. For Capricorn, please. Two cards. One more card landing on the table. Thank you. Okay, this is great. Okay, this is a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough after this control. Okay, and potentially deception. Right? This this I feel like also is you controlling your heart. Taking the mask off and really letting yourself be free because it takes energy to do that and it's exhausting. You know, it's really breaking through, breaking through the walls, right? Breaking through the rocks because it's happening whether you like it or not, right? The rocks getting broken down so that this passion, this internal passion, which is the truth of who you are, can come through. We have here higher ground, and I feel like this is a fresh approach to reach higher ground. This is so exciting. I absolutely adore this reading for you, Capricorn, because you're totally deserving of this. You know, I know that it's it's scary, and I know that there's fear, because we all are afraid of getting hurt. No one wants to get hurt. But here's the thing. You're here. You survived. Remember, you know, always, when it comes to, okay, let me just say this. When it comes to a new person in your life, make sure your life is already full. Okay? Make sure you're not putting everything into that one person. That you have your hobbies. You have your work. You have, you know, your friends. You have your things you want to do. Okay? This person is sort of like, it's like having a chair, right? That you sit on. The throne of your life in a sense and this person is just a leg of the chair which sounds a little bit degrading but I don't mean it like just a leg you know but they're there yes they help to hold the chair up of your life but they're not the entire chair don't make anyone your entire chair okay you have other legs of that chair being your friends your hobbies your, your passion your whatever okay and this person all right, because then when, you know, if, if things crumble, then you've still got these other things to hold on to. You've still got these other things to live for. Okay, and, um, and, and making anyone your entire life is unhealthy. Okay, so please be aware of that. Okay, so higher ground. Two cards for higher ground. For Capricorn, please. Sagittarius keeps popping in my mind this entire reading. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And maybe it will go out of my mind. <laughs> Should have done that at the beginning. Okay, one more card for higher ground. The Capricorn, please. There we go. The Rebel. Breaking free from the chains that hold you back. Breaking free from whatever it is that is keeping this rock around the, the passion that's inside of you. Okay, because this is a natural state of being. 100% natural. To lock it up is an insult. Alright, so possibilities. Rise above. 
right? Go to the high ground and see the possibilities. See things from a higher perspective of what could be. Because what if? What if it works out? What if it's the best thing that ever happened to you? Do you want to hold yourself back from that because of silly fear? What does fear stand for? False expectations appearing real. So step out, Capricorn, and give yourself the gift that you deserve. Give yourself the gift of love. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.